Today we're going to talk about offset filtering in both Observer and Wireshark. And there's several reasons to do it and I'm going to show you two. One is to look for something specific inside of the packet or protocol headers. So for instance here in Observer, let's say I wanted to find all of the IP packets that are transporting TCP. Well we can see that value is a hex 6 that lives at offset 23 here in decimal from the beginning of the packet or you notice it highlights down here in the hex window offset 17 again if we start counting at 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so in observer we're going to use the decimal value of 23 and it's as simple as clicking on tools once we've taken our trace and say post filter we're gonna name it offset filter and if I could type we would and it's not getting any better there we go offset filter right click the rule edit the rule as pattern and we're gonna choose offset search it offset from the beginning of the packet the offset is 23 and again we said we're looking for a hex value of 0, 06 and there's our pattern we click OK and we choose that filter to apply it to our trace and this should now give us all the packets that are carrying TCP from IP's perspective and you see we got 19,602 and and if we highlight that field in our IP header again you should see all of them have and if I press F8 that's the next key they all have that value so I'm pretty confident my filter works building offsets looking for specific information at a specific location in the frame. Wireshark allows us to do the same thing. Basically in Wireshark we can do it in either hex or decimal. So in this case since we did it in decimal in Observer I'm going to start with ETH, start counting from the beginning of the Ethernet header, bracket 23 bytes in, close bracket equals equals and again 06 the value we're looking for and apply my filter and you see that you know we get like 19,000 frames so Wireshark gives us that same ability to offset filter both tools also allow us to search through so offsets again used for looking for specific information like that particular protocol field but sometimes we need to look through the payload especially in troubleshooting applications so Wireshark and Observer give us an easy way to do that with a filter in Wireshark called Frame Contains and let's say Chrome. We're going to search for some data that's being transported. So I do that and we get four packets. And in this case we're searching through the packets looking for specific application data and here we see we get four observer we do that same filter a little differently we click on tools post filter and we create a new filter and we'll call it offset payload search so I can go in and change that or edit it any time again edit rule as pattern but this time we're going to do instead of search at offset we're going to do search using range and we're going to use the range from 42 which would be the end of the UDP data to offset 1514 the end of the you know basically the packet uh, and we're going to choose ASCII and Chrome now observer gives us another option where we can say case insensitive where we don't care if it's upper or lower but since we did lowercase only in Wireshark we're going to do the same here click OK we click OK and we uncheck our offset filter check our payload filter and you notice we get four packets it tells us there are four frames that contain the words Chrome so that's the basics of offset filtering 
you can use it for several different reasons. Uh, again, the most common is I'm looking for specific information at a specific location in the packet, or I want to search through the packet looking for you know, something that's being transported in the data. So I can use that information on, let's say, the front end side and looking for it on a back end trace. So I hope that was informational and helpful to you. Thanks.